It's called Stereotactic Body Radiation Therapy, SBRT for short. It's a new method for treating cancer with the GRMC Linear Accelerator. GRMC radiation oncologist Dr. Arthur Koh says it's more effective than traditional radiation treatments. Uh, the SBRT data is actually uh, much better than conventional radiation um, treatment data that uh, at like three to five year you know, time out from the treatment, you know, uh, the SBRT can give you 90% or higher uh, tumor control rate, which is great. It works by delivering stronger doses of radiation over a shorter period of time, thus reducing the number of treatments and the cost for both the patient and the hospital. Instead of giving two gray, gray is unit of radiation per day, two gray per day, that's a usual uh, radiation dose per day that we give for conventional radiation schedule. But this uh, SBRT technique, we are giving, um, let's say, uh, 10 to uh, 20 gray per each treatment. But patient will be given uh, either three to five um, treatment instead of getting 35 daily treatment. And each treatment lasts less than two minutes. This woman. One minute and 36 seconds. In the old days? Old days, because, you know, the way the radiation machine was old, uh, we used to spend at least one hour. Before the therapy begins, the patient is fitted with a body cast, which keeps them fixed in one place throughout the procedure. In order to give safe treatment uh, uh, for us, we need to have patient, we need to be able to reproduce uh, whatever the patient set up uh, on consistent basis. And that's where this full body cast is coming in. It conforms to her entire body, meaning that once she's in there and in the right spot, she really can't move that much at all. Jeffrey Corwin is GRMC's radiation oncology technologist. He is the one who actually operates the linear accelerator. The idea is to support her body in a position where most healthy tissue is out of the way and we have a really excellent shot at the tumor itself. And that's important because? Because we want to reduce the exposure to healthy tissue while maximizing the dose to the tumor. So the movement of the gantry, the movement of the table, um, the imaging isocenter, we all make sure that that's within you know, several millimeters. Radiation therapy is highly complex and requires a team effort, including the expertise of a physicist like Amanjini Patel, who ensures that the radiation beam is on target. So here we're looking at a cross-section of the patient's anatomy, and right here we can see the tumor volume that the doctor would like to deliver radiation to. And the different colors represent different isodose lines or levels of radiation. Well, the tumor is here. Um, I put in the beams, and uh, this therapy is arc therapy, and we're going to be arcing around like this one, one time, and then we're going to go back. So we've got two arcs, and we'll deliver all the dose in a minute, 36 seconds. In addition to a physicist who ensures the accuracy of the procedure, a dosimetrist like Mark Kraft is necessary to ensure the precise dosage of radiation is delivered. You're the dosimetrist. Right, and that has to do with one who calculates dosage. And the dose comes from the doctor's prescription. And I, I uh, put that in the computer and put in the constraints that, uh, and then the computer actually does the, what we call the optimization, which is what, which, which is what gives us the dose coverage while sparing the normal tissue. In order to carry out this kind of advanced cancer treatment, says Dr. Ko, it's critical to have an accelerator that provides real-time imaging. Actually, this machine has also mini uh, CT built in so that in order to deliver radiation more precisely and accurately, we need what we call onboard imaging capability as much as possible. So you're getting real-time in images? Actually, we can actually see the tumors uh, while the radiation beam is on. The beauty of implementing SBRT um, technique is that if tumor is here versus there, if there is a surrounding you know, normal tissue, 
we can actually achieve much, much higher uh, radiation dose in and right around the tumor. And once you get out by about five millimeters or out, then the dose fall off is really, really rapid. So it'll be like almost like background level. So very little damage to surrounding tissue. That is correct. Does it hurt? No, it, it should not hurt. You know, radiation treatment, as you know, there is no cutting, there is no bleeding, there is no pain. Patients should not feel anything, period. To learn more about the cancer care provided at GRMC, please call 645-5500.